What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a first impressions on the Way of Wade Son of Flash in the Firstborn colorway. So I wasn't planning on getting these shoes and technically I still haven't. These are indeed my brother's shoes um, and he let me borrow them so I am going to be testing them for you guys. Um, I definitely am interested in the shoe itself. So this is the new shoe line for Way of Wade, Son of Flash, Flash being Dwayne Wade, Son of Flash being Zaire Wade. So technically these are Zaire's signature line. Um, and I don't know about you, I know my ads on social media are probably very targeted, but I have seen these all over sponsored posts, especially on Instagram of like different hoopers, dunkers, um, playing in these shoes. So as far as like shoe ads, this shoe has probably been the most pushed sponsored post I've ever seen before for a signature shoe. So I'm very curious if it's working for leaning uh, and if people are buying it because of those ads, but it's all over my feed. And honestly, I think the shoe looks pretty good for a first signature model. We have this in the firstborn, so primarily black and gray. So the upper is mostly black with hits of gray. We have the flash in this iridescent multicolor um, color on the lateral side. Um, and then the flash symbols also in many places throughout the shoe. Notably, the traction pattern is also a bunch of flashes as well as herringbone. But honestly, yeah, like I said, I think this is a great looking shoe. Very simple, very clean. Personally, this is not my favorite colorway of the shoe. I do like the white colorway a lot better, which is the white hot colorway, uh, where it's primarily white and it also has the iridescent multicolor flash in the lateral side. But getting into the shoe, the upper is mostly this knit material in the forefoot and the midfoot area. And then there's some extra overlay on the toe area for the toe draggers. And then as we move back, the tongue is mostly this mesh material here. So good breathability there. Around the ankle area on both sides, it is this synthetic leather. The ankle and the Achilles area actually has ample amount of padding. So I think that will feel good on foot. For cushioning, we have full length cloud, which acts as a carrier. And then we also have boom in the heel and also the forefoot. So I've already had some run in these. I played three sets of volleyball as libero on hardwood. And honestly, these feel bouncier than the Way of Wades, at least in the forefoot. So I don't know if that's because the cloud is a little bit softer than full length boom, but these felt pretty good as far as cushioning. This might be a hot take since I've only had two to three hours of run in these shoes so far, but I might like the cushioning on the Sun of Flash better than the WoW 10s. These kind of remind me of the All City 10s cushioning wise, where it's definitely bouncy in the forefoot. So, so far so good as far as cushioning. And, but the traction is definitely better than the All City 10. So we can move on to tractioning. This features full length herringbone. So you can kind of see that on the medial and lateral sides, this gray portion on the shoe. And then on the black part of the shoe, they are repeated flashes of the symbol right here. So interesting way to incorporate the symbol into the shoe. We'll see if it holds up. Um, and then this does have a more durable outsole. So I think it's called tough outsole, but I'm guessing this is geared towards you know China's market and demographic because a lot of them play outdoors. And when I was wiping, these ridges felt very, very strong and did not move all too much. So I think these are harder than most Nike outsoles, uh, which can be a good and bad thing depending on if you're playing indoor. Um, so during the first set, they didn't have the best bite, to be honest. I was slipping a little bit and I was asking my brother, who I think was wearing the LeBron 20s, like, hey, are you slipping at all or is it the shoe? And he's like, yeah, I'm slipping it a little bit. And the LeBron 20s have pretty good traction. So I was like, okay, if it's not just me, that makes me feel a little bit better. Um, and then during the second and third set, the traction was actually pretty good. So I'm not sure if that's, you know, the dust from everyone playing kind of went away. It wasn't that dusty, semi-dusty, I would say. But after playing the second and third set, these felt a lot better. So it might be the rubber compound heating up or the dust kind of going away. But we'll see how it goes as I, continue to wear these on different courts. But as far as traction, I do like on this shoe that the traction wraps onto the lateral portion of the shoe. So right here in the forefoot, also in the midfoot and a little bit on the heel. Also in the toe area, it wraps around. Pretty much around the whole shoe, 360, the traction comes up onto the midsole, which is great. Like I love it when shoes have that. So I'm glad that they did that there. Another small thing that I noticed, which I think is a good thing, is around the shoelace holes, there's a lot of plastic. So this will help with better lockdown and I like to crank down on my laces. So I think I'll end up liking this. It'll also help 
the shoelace area be a little bit more durable uh, as you wear them over time. So hopefully that area doesn't get as frayed or beat up as they normally would. Um, but overall, I think this is a solid first signature model. Maybe in future models, they'll start adding like full length boom and like shank plates in the middle. They did mention that this TPU uh, bolt right here is supposed to help with torsional support. I don't know how much I buy that, but so far, I think these are gonna be solid performers. Um, and I think I'll like them in the All City line, at least the All City 10s, um, but we'll see. I'll probably have a performance review coming out in a few weeks. I'm still working on the WoW 10s. I'm pretty much done testing those. I just need to make the video. These are going for $135, which is not a bad price point uh, compared to other shoes on the market. So KD's at 150, um, LeBron's at 200, WoW 10s at 200, um, Series Pro only at 160. This is actually on the cheaper end of shoes that are out lately other than like the Tatums, the Lucas, the Jaws. So more on the budget side, um, thanks inflation. But yeah, I think this will be a solid option. I think I'll like them. They are a size 10 and I think I would probably personally go true to size. I'm a nine and a half, but these are a 10. They do fit well. I just think I would enjoy a more snug fit, but that's gonna do it for my first impressions. A couple of you were asking about the Sun of Flash in the last video where I did my shoe ranking. So if you haven't watched that, I would check that out because I went through kind of all my performance shoes and ranked them on a tiered list. Um, so you can see like which shoes I think are S tiered, A tiered, B tiered, C tiered. Um, but I was not able to put these on that list because I haven't played in them yet, but we'll see where these land. Uh, my guess is probably A, B tier, but who knows, we'll see. All right, I think that's gonna do it. Let me know if you have any questions. If you wanna see a video of my favorite insoles, check this video right here. And if you wanna see my thoughts on the All City 10s from Leaning, check this video here. Other than that, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.